I cook all the time. No. Very fast, very fiery, very burnt. <laughs> Bitch. Poppy. What up, what up, what up, Metal Bees? How's it going, guys? It is Saturday, so you know what that means. We're probably gonna go eat something. Cause <laughs> I'm, oh, Shelby didn't know I was gonna say that. Cause I'm starving. So the first place we're gonna go today is called Project Pollo. They're a freaking awesome company, and I think their mission is also to put Chick-fil-A out of business by 2030. It's this really awesome vegan chicken spot in San Antonio, and I think they also have a location in Austin. So that's number one. Ooh, child, my lips are ashy. <laughs> mm, I haven't been looking at myself, but anywho, so we're gonna hit that up and then we're also gonna we, go Well, you didn't tell them we went there once already. We already went there once like before Christmas uh, We went to their food truck and we sat outside so I felt really good about that But apparently Madison says they also have a brick-and-mortar location So that's where we're going today, right or no? Yeah And they're supposed to have a really good looking Caesar salad there, which is why I'm excited Yummy, yummy, but we're gonna do that. And then I also looked up, uh, there's this park in San Antonio called the Phil Hardberger Park, I think it is. And they just built this really cool land bridge. So we got the drone, which is right there. Got it all packed up, ready to go. We struggled a lot this morning trying to get it ready to go. Yes, it needed an update and we could not figure it out, but we just figured it out. So we're gonna grab our stuff, head out the door and uh, yeah, we'll keep you all posted. Oh, Madison wanted oh. to give you guys the outfit of the day. Oh. I'll, I'll let her show her I'm feeling real good about this outfit of the day. We have, I feel like a lumberjack. Anytime anyone wears like red and black. Oh, Tippy's coming to show us his tuxedo. Oh, he never changes. He's kind of a slob. Oh, baby. Uh, <laughs> got my watch ring. Got something for the ears. Got the little lumberjack shirt. And then I also am ready for an indoor soccer game if one breaks out today. Uh, so we got our little Nikes here. How do you do the, the little pose people do? What? Just, just the shoes and the... And then Shelby. No, I got this. Look, oh. I know what I'm doing. Look at me. Come over to the mirror and I can show y'all. Um, I actually shared this on my Instagram story if you missed it. But I'm testing out right now this clothing rental service. Um, it's called Newly. Basically, you pay like a monthly fee and you can pick six items um, and then you get to use them for the month and then you return them and they hand them on to some other people, which is so neat, but I'm just testing it out right now. So that's where this top is from. I saw, I think my friend Catherine Kellogg inspired me to get this. She had one like this. It was just white with like black checkers, kind of like this, but less pattern and it had this like bow tie at the top and I thought it was so cute. So when I saw it on Newly, I rented this. And then uh, you guys have seen this jacket. I thrifted it. I think either Poshmark or Thread Up. I can't remember. Um, but it was secondhand. And then same thing with my boots and my pants. But I thought it looked kind of cute today, so I wanted to show you. I think we both look incredible. And as the winter comes along, we usually wear more black. These are like my signature black pants. I'm a big believer in washing yourself when you're dirty and uh, re-wearing your pants if they're clean. So, you will see a lot of these this winter. All right, here we go. Sometimes when I plan things, they don't go according to plan. Sometimes? This is one of those No, 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 no. What percentage of the time? 50%. <laughs> This place look open to y'all. <laughs> oh, what the hell? This definitely might be a location <laughs> that they are going to be moving to. Like Shelby said last time we went to the food truck that was downtown. But this... Why wouldn't you have verified this? Google said it was open. Oh. Anyway, we're just going on a little tour to San Antonio today and I'm going to look up, probably check their social media and see what's up. But yeah. This happens way too often when Madison is in charge of planning. This is really sad. <laughs> Luckily, we have literally nothing else to do today. So like whatever, but also, why is there a car parked right here? I don't know what's going on. We got to move. This is a weird, we're, this is a strange area. Would this used to be a subway? I don't know, it's red. I don't know if they painted it that way already or what. Confirmed did used to be a subway. 
And so I'm thinking that maybe they already did start renovations because obviously like it's red now. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. Now what are we doing, Chief? <laughs> what was that? Mm -hmm. I hope that, that was a like a gunshot. Let's hope that was a firework. What? Okay, I got this. I got this. Mm -hmm. Debatable. Saturday, eleven to nine. Got it. Eight. 1730 Tuscany Stone. We're doing it. We'll see you there. Why are you getting the camera out? Help me. <laughs> Why do you think I'm getting the camera out? It's definitely here for sure. Okay, you guys missed it, but the first place it took us was an abandoned uh, place across the street from here. And Madison said, that's not it. There's a suite. It's in a suite. Go back over there where yes. it's like a strip center. So now we're driving around the strip center and maybe we'll get lucky and it's here somewhere. But so far we've driven the whole thing and we have not found it. We're going to find it. By the way, at the abandoned place over there, there was a food truck that was closed. Just so what are the chances that it was there too? And, um, I don't like your attitude. You gotta be positive. Like, we're gonna find it. It's right <laughs> There's around. another yeah, strip let's, center let's here. Let's drive over there. See? Yeah, we'll just drive. We just routed ourselves to a certain zip code and we're just gonna drive around until we find it. <laughs> what the fuck? We're gonna find it. Just sit tight. Oh. Everybody relax. Everybody get ready to be eating some good stuff. <sighs> Jesus, Madison. <laughs> Oh. 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 <laughs> we are going nowhere. Going on an adventure. Oh. 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 Going, we're making progress. In a quarter mile, turn right into Yeah, the see, in a quarter mile. It's saying turn right. You need to be optimistic. <laughs> okay, I knew what I was doing. I looked it up, and it's gonna be here, and they said that they're open. Tell me why we arrived back there. Starbucks? Oh! Hey! Hey! Nailed it! <laughs> right there. Shelby was talking all that smack. Dude, because we just drove around! Oh, you're ridiculous. You're lucky. They have outside seating! Well, I feel better about this. It only took us about an hour to find it, but here we are. Okay. It didn't take us an hour, Shelby's exact um, exaggerating. I'm not. We drove to another location, had to find this location, drove to this location, went and drove around the strip mall, then found it over here. Not exaggerating. We found it, though. That's all that matters. Look at it. Do you have the zoom lens on? Have... Oh, she got the zoom lens on there. That was weird looking. Why? He don't got a mouth. Oh. <laughs> we got the goods. Super exciting, uh, but it's super chilly out here. So we're not gonna eat outside. We're gonna eat in the car. They did have outside seating though. Which is pretty nice, but I'm a little underdressed. It's like 40 degrees out here, which again, I know some people are dealing with much colder weather, but we're eating in the park. Ooh, look at that hail damage. Mm -hmm. Not good. No fun. Well, that's why you come prepared in your boots, your long sleeve shirt, your jacket. Nobody was prepared. Who was surprised? What's even more ironic is... <laughs> I literally told Shelby what the weather was gonna be like and I was like, it's pretty cold. Like, I mean, you might be hot in a jacket, but I think I should have brought one actually. It's fine. Salad? Yum. Okay, I got some papas. That's what it is on the menu, just some fries. And I got their spicy project, which, ooh, ready? Y'all ain't ready for this. Oh. Delish. Very Give me the funny. side profile. There you go. Ooh. <laughs> Buffalo sauce just kicked me in the face. Oh, I guess I should have showed you guys. I got a Caesar. They have a Caesar salad wrap, but I just wanted to see their salad. So that's the salad. There she is. And the little chicken nuggets I dumped into the bag because I don't want to put dressing on them. Like, I don't want them smothered in dressing, so. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to shake it up. And we brought our water bottles from the house, so we're good to go there. And also, again, with the woke vegans, this is, what do you call this, paper? And this is the compostable plastic. Bioplastic is what they call it. 
And I know there's so much like drama. There's a lot of controversy in the zero waste movement about relying on like compostable plastic. But if your city offers free industrial composting, then I see no problems. I think it's a great solution actually, especially during everything that's going on. Yup, yup, yup. I am so excited. We had this place the other day and it was bomb. So I expect nothing less. Do you ever just eat something good and want to dance? Mm. I just want to give you a close up of this chicken. Here we go. Whoa, talk about a good focus. So, it's the salad. Well, I got full, so I gave the rest of that to Madison. She asked me what I would rank it, and I told her 8 out of 10. The chicken is on point. The way they cook it, it's so like you can hear the how crispy it is. Let's see. Oh god. <laughs> but the dressing could use some work. It's a little thick, but so good. I'm really full. I made an acai bowl this morning, but my small blender cup was in the dishwasher. It was dirty, so I couldn't use it. So I used the big one and I made an acai bowl that was way too much for oh. me. So that's pretty funny. So we'll see you at the park. Okay, so also I brought these, uh, what do you call this, like trash picking thingamabobbers. <laughs> I don't know what you call this, but like things you can grab trash with and a couple of my bags and we're going to pick up if we see anything. I'm trying to do better when I'm walking around to do this, so part of my ongoing New Year's resolution. I think I've had this as a resolution for a couple years. Nice. <laughs> Ooh, what can I do with this? She pinched my butt. This is also for you. Do we have snacks? No snacks. We just ate food, Max. You could always use a snack. I feel like my I speak for the trees mask might be more appropriate for the trash picking, but I'm gonna bring my green one. All right, here we go. Shelby is the trash bag, and I am the recycling bag. Strong work. It looks like Thackeray Binks' house. Oh, it's for bird watching. That's so cool. What is bird water. Bird water? Ooh, I can't read. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so pumped though. Oh, it's like a, there's like a fountain over there. Where? Right there. Oh, I couldn't see because the camera was blurry. So I it, don't know what this has to do with it. Maybe it's just to watch them so that they feel safe. Yeah, I think maybe that's where I got bird watching from even though that's not what the sign said. Back up so they can see what it looks like. Cute. The trailhead. Renewable energy is the future. The earth receives more energy from the sun in one hour than is used by the entire world in one year. Texas and California are the prime states to produce solar energy. CPS Energy has been at the forefront of this trend promoting renewable energy by, by installing a capacity of approximately 2,671 megawatts in 2008 and continuing. They're all socially distanced. <laughs> yeah, they are the, the picture. Appropriately socially distanced. And then this one talks about their rainwater systems that they have to collect and reuse rainwater. Very neat. Rain gutter cistern. Thanks, Professor Madison. You are welcome with that's me. Oh, that's not reusable though. That's not classic as green. I'm not gonna be drinking this and then I pee. <laughs> Ooh, this is cool. I'd always want to have my name on something like this. Oh, but it's not just people, it's like places too. Pretty cool. Guys, we we were we were admiring all their sustainability features, right? And then there's this plug-in charge station here. That's like what I used when I had the Tesla. You didn't even drive a Tesla? Before? You can't, this, what, this is a trail. What, where'd the, where'd the Tesla gonna go? What the? Know. Maybe that's for like, maybe their park people drive something electric and maybe they charge it here. Maybe, that makes more sense. I like that. <laughs> Come on. 
got my first piece. This says turn me over. Yeah, there must be a message on it or something. I will turn you over with my COVID friendly. <laughs> what is it? It says taking orders uh. from a rock. Are you stoned? <laughs> We just turned this corner and we saw what we think is the land bridge. I'm gonna have to show you the sign because the sign is all luscious. So I thought they went and added like some little grass implants or something. But this looks bald mm. and naked. I mean, they got irrigation set up, so maybe hopefully someday. To be fair, it's a winter, but it does look not so exciting. <laughs> I mean, but when it does look Also, long, can we just also say there's a fence around it? Temporary. Like the point is for wildlife to have easier access and then they put a fence up, no? It doesn't look like a temporary fence. It doesn't look like permanent to me. It's well, I guess that's true. Still under construction. Maybe they're going to bring the implant. This is the picture. We're about to get to it. That they've been hyping us up with on the way over here. Wheel. Someone's got some mad Photoshop skills because that ain't what I'm looking at. Just saying. We're talking a bunch of crap, but obviously it's really cool and <laughs> super amazing that someone thought to do this and it's gonna look super luscious, but just like when you see the pictures and then you see this, you're like, what? Hello? What a greenery. What a greenery. Endeavors like this are really cool, but Madison said it literally opened up like what, a couple weeks ago? Yeah. So. And it's winter, obviously, so it needs to grow some greenery, but I'm just a little bummed because I was excited to get you guys a cool drone shot, which is not gonna, probably not gonna look that cool with it barren like this. But excited to see what it looks like come like spring, summer. And obviously initiatives like this are really great for wildlife. Uh, I feel like you see these on like Facebook and shit all the time and Instagram, but you never see one in real life. So the fact that there's one in real life in San Antonio is pretty cool. So. You can see just right through here. Highway's right there. It's right underneath here, but they built up all the dirt so you can't really see it that well. There you go. There's the road right there. And here's the land bridge. It's pretty cool. How are you feeling about this flight? Uh, a lot better than the last time I flew this bitch, I'll tell you that. Yeah, we ran updates before we left the house to make sure everything was working. <laughs> so we should be in pretty good shape. Shelby's feeling pretty confident about this flight. Let me see if you can see it. Looks like a little bird. No, it's blurry AF. That was an excellent flight. How'd you feel about it? I'm very relieved um, because if you guys saw my Instagram story about when we flew the drone in Vermont, we were in New Hampshire technically. It was not pretty. My drone basically took off. I couldn't see it in the fog and I thought it was gone forever for a good like 10 minutes um, and then it came back and I've been scared to fly my drone ever since, but that was a really good flight. I think because we did the updates before we left. So very happy about that. trash at this park. Madison and I have decided this is a little bit of a bougie park. So I think it's well kept and people care a little bit more here. I'm just going to empty my trash bag. Let me see if I can show you. Look. Not much in there for a little Not over a mile. Bad. And Madison only has like literally two things. <laughs> she has the recycling. I uh, don't have much either. I actually only found one of those little Starbucks like warm cup holders and then a plastic cup. So all in all, not a bad thing. All right, I'm gonna let you empty these. All right. We found a nice trash area that also has recycling. Very cool. Beautiful. And uh, it's like a bear safe box, which is funny because we do not have bears here, but whatever. Aw, oh, lame. Huh. What? It has recycling in it. I know, but you, you know, that's, it happens a lot. Wait, we can move some stuff because we have these little guys, right? So. I don't have to touch it with my hands to move some of it. If you open this one, I'll just do it. All right. Mm. No, 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 no. Well, 
Ugh. Oh! <laughs> I mean, the truth is, this really sucks. So this is a very clear example of not having any sort of markers around here. Like there's nothing that indicates what is and isn't recyclable, but obviously like this is in the trash. I mean, I guess we'll take our recycling home in this case. Yeah. But obviously this is recyclable and it's in the trash pile. And then like this is not recyclable. And is that a diaper? Kinda, I think so. Oh, mm, it smells. So we'll just we'll just leave that at that. So we'll take the recycling home to ensure that it gets recycled. But also keep in mind that often what happens is that people are doing this, what you just saw in this recycling bin, at their own homes, and that's contamination for the whole neighborhood that you live in, the whole zip code potentially that you live in. So education is really important in teaching people how to even recycle properly. But obviously, we reduce and reuse first. Let's go. What the? The Jimmy <laughs> Nice. The, literally like, what? The, oh, we're so close. <laughs> But not close enough. Happy. That was exhilarating. Well, that was the day at the park. It was freaking cold. Look at this. My hands are experiencing the first stages of frostbite. Look at those pink little. Look at those little pink nubs. Ooh. Uh, but we're gonna head home. I don't know what we'll get into, so I won't end the vlog here, but just wanted to say that's what we're up to next. Welcome back to another day on the vlog. Today, we're gonna be grabbing our measuring tape and going upstairs to measure one of our windows. Hey, you coming? She was supposed to be telling you guys it's a real shit day. Oh, huh. it's a real shit day. It, it really is so cold outside and it's rainy and then the heater's on and I, I think all of that is making my face look fucked up today. Oh my God. Yeah, Shelby's face looks a little bloodshot, but we're headed upstairs to measure the window frame so that we can order her birthday gift, which she wants a, um, like a solar blind because our blinds up here are actually struggling. They've so, been so well, fucked up for so long. Yeah, so we'll show y'all what's going on with them, but who else's blinds <laughs> opens from the top? <laughs> Let's just start there. Like, they used to open like normal blinds and then they stopped working like that. So now we have to do them like this. Yeah. Which honestly I kind of like because these plants get more light that way than if there's like some blinds up here. They're gonna get a little bit less light that way. Yeah. But this is literally on its last string. And if this broke, it would all come you would tumbling see into our down. Room. If you break these blinds, Madison, we're so fucked. <laughs> oh God, no! Your tape measure is not straight. Are you kissing him all day? No, he loved it. Okay, so from the top. Make it drop. drop. <laughs> oh, you don't think that's fine? That's pretty great. So put it like. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ass. Is that long enough? Madison said, okay, we're gonna measure from the top and put. Make it drop. That's Come here. Get a bucket and a mop. Oh, <laughs> unstuck. Fine. Measure like a normal now that the blinds have been measured and that it is dark, that's what I wanted for my birthday. <laughs> that seems that made me like super adult that I asked for. <laughs> What's going on? I didn't chew it good enough when I choked. Okay, very good. Well, anyway, does it make me too adult that I asked for blinds for my birthday? Is that like a super boring adult eat? thing to do? Yeah. No, I've, no. I've, I've asked for a broom. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's true. I've also asked for a sweeper for the fan. Okay, well. 
Anyway, I'm excited to get these blinds, particularly because, well, you guys know it gets hot here in Texas. So um, in the summer when it's really hot, I have to go remember, try to remember every day to go upstairs and close the blinds before it gets to like being really hot because the plants need sun in the beginning of the day. But once it gets to be like two o'clock, it's just too fucking hot. So I have to go up there and close the blinds. And then I usually open them again at the end of the day when it's not so hot so that the plants can get more light. And I would forget to do that all the time, which would result in either uh, my plants not getting enough light or um, the room getting super hot because I would forget to go close them. So I found these blinds that you can basically set up on a schedule that run on solar power, which I thought was pretty dope. Um, I've wanted them for a while. So that's what I asked for for my birthday. Uh, now we are about to start trying to marinate some tempeh for Madison. Just hold on, she's asking me what to do with all the groceries. Sorry, normally I put the groceries away. But anyway, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so ever since Christy came here with her boyfriend, uh, he was eating like this, it was like barbecue flavored tempeh. Madison's been looking for it, she really likes it. But either they don't have it, I went to Trader Joe's and checked, they didn't have it, H-E-B doesn't have it. There's this possum running through our backyard. And then I just ordered this grocery stuff from Whole Foods because they did have everything Madison wanted. But then when it came time for them to deliver, they didn't have it. So we didn't get tempeh that's normal, but I was able to get her plain tempeh. So we're gonna try to marinate it to taste like what she wants. I don't know what's going on. Also, Whole Foods followed my instructions to use paper bags, which H-E-B like never does. So that's good news. And they did not have um, just egg, which is something we wanted. They did not have, what's the other thing we wanted? Tempeh. Oh, the tempeh, something else I thought, or that's it. Mm, I don't know. But they didn't have all that stuff. They substituted, look at this, they substituted just egg for just tofu. Just plain ass tofu. They're like, oh, good enough. <laughs> so can you uh, get your phone and look up a pla uh, what to marinate this tempeh in so we can make it taste like barbecue like you want? So this is the tempeh I have. It's just from Trader Joe's, if you've ever been to Trader Joe's. Um, and it doesn't have any, I don't think it has any flavor. Yeah, I think it's just plain. What do we need, Chief, to make the marinade? We need lemon juice, extra virgin olive oil. Soy sauce, chili powder, paprika, garlic, oregano, and sriracha. Slice the tempeh into six or eight rectangles, depending how wide you want the ribs to be. Is something wrong with you? What's wrong? I just want to make a face and see what you do. I <laughs> see. Steam the tempeh for 15 minutes to soften. What's the deal, boss? Three, six tablespoons of lemon juice. Might need another lemon. Lemon. I think we have another one. Am I doing this right? No, yeah. No, no, no. The lemon's supposed to be the other way. No, no. No, no, no. Okay. Yes, yes. Yes, you. My hand's big enough for this project. When life gives you lemons, make barbecue marinade. <laughs> Did you, oh, there was a snort. Did you max it out? I think it's maxed. Maybe not. Damn! Cute. How many tablespoons? Oh my god, I feel like it's not even a one. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh my. How many tablespoons do you think that is? That looks like six. <laughs> I don't think so. Six. You see this, guys? God dang it. I put it right in the face. There you go. Six tablespoons in there for sure. Oh, this one was juicy. That's what she said. Stop it. <laughs> That's it? I feel like you did not max that out. Wow, I got three more drops. <laughs> Alright, we're, we're basically there. Are we really? That third of a cup. Turn it my way. Mm -hmm. 
A little past it. Turn it my way. Ooh, girl, you lucky. Wait, third. Oh, yeah, that might be like exact. You lucky. Six tables. Are you saying Google was wrong? Is that what you're trying to say right now? Did you say six or three? Six. That's one. You think there are five more in there? Look what you have done. Oh God, oh God. What is Matt? Okay. Two tablespoons. <laughs> Look, you're just gonna ignore all the shit you spilled everywhere else? No, I'm not ignoring it, I'm just ignoring it. Okay, continuing on. What if you follow a recipe through and through and it tastes like crap? That's happened before. Happens often, huh? Mm-mm. Not to me. <laughs> That's because you don't go! <laughs> when do I stop? It doesn't say when to stop. Can I stop now? When you feel it's all mixed together. <sighs> Stuff's floating around in there. <laughs> Or maybe those are just bubbles. Give us a taste test. Uh oh. <laughs> what? That is salty. Well, it's a marinade, so it's not your food's not gonna taste exactly like that. It better not. Brittany, have you ever tasted a marinade? Is it normally like too salty? Taste this. Okay, wow. can you tell them what's going on with this? My tempeh has marinated for two hours and now it is ready to be baked. Actually, it was supposed to be grilled, but we don't have a grill. <laughs> and it's like 9.30. So I'm just gonna put it in here for 20 minutes and see what happens. Okay. <laughs> we love, we love a chef. That's me. Uh -huh. Just had a furry baby in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, you like the monstera? It's John. Tippy just decided he can go to sleep over there. This is gonna be too fucking small. <clears throat> it's fine. You can put them closer together, big enough. But anyway, go ahead. Voila. Not bad looking. It's the finished product. What do you think? I uh, think it looks pretty good. It smells pretty good. Yeah, it smells good. But Brittany, does it smell okay? You don't smell anything. Oh. Uh-uh. <laughs> like that. But. I like it's see. faint. I'm over here, so I can't really smell it that well. You need to waft? Waft it. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> yeah, what is the, the stuff on it? Why is it? She put like, the marinade on top of it. I forgot to. Madison is a chef, y'all. Gotta get the taste test. Uh huh. What the? What are you doing? Oh. This is the good stuff. Pretty good. Are you serious? I feel like Madison's always lying. She won't admit if she doesn't like it now because she made it and we've all been <laughs> being well, making fun of it's her. It's because this sauce is so sweet that it kind of offsets. What is that stuff? It's tempeh. What does that mean? Just soybeans in a different form. It's mm -hmm. tofu but not as processed. They don't process it as much. It looks a little lumpy. Mm-hmm. You want to try it? Ooh. Sure. Why well, did you gulp? 
<laughs> you gotta put the sauce on it. We'll, we'll try it first without the sauce, and then which is what you're supposed to do. Which one should I pick? Should I pick one with one. black beans or one with black, black beans? beans? The thick ones. The thick ones. I'd pick better? the thin one. They're a little thin one right there. No, it's hard. It's right here, a little thin that. one right there. <laughs> it's hot. You ate this? Yeah. She's crazy it's sometimes. It's not that hot. It's an interesting texture. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like lentils. I don't know if that's barbecue though. It's supposed to be. It's not a bad taste though. Is it salty to you? I only had it with the sauce, so it kind of like offset it because that's. Babe, you have to sweet. try it. It's pretty good though. See, it's good. And the sauce, chef's kiss. Like I kind of like that. See what? It's good. Like, the flavor, like it's not like one solid texture, like tofu. Mm. It like has more to it. There you go. And you heard it here, chef. Madison's barbecue tempeh ribs. Ribs. Are the shit. So oh, you want to close it out? We've got 8%. That is the end of our weekend vlog. Thanks for hanging out with us. We're uploading twice a week right now because we're doing the minimalism challenge. So if you haven't seen our previous vlogs, make sure you check those out. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do that. And remember, until next time. Catch you later, Battlebees.